that I'm gonna get any more exposure walking in a show that I'm not getting paid for than I would just posting pictures on Instagram. Welcome back to the vlog guys. We are steadily climbing our way to 800 subscribers, which means I have two things to tell you. First thing is to all of you who have subscribed, who are mad attackers, thank you guys so damn much. And the second thing is if you're not yet a subscriber, what are you doing? Hit the button down below. Remember new vlogs are literally every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday. We're going to be featuring the coolest, the dopest, the most expert level people on the internet in their industry. You do not want to miss it. Day or night, no excuses. I have been training. I put in three workouts over the past three days without missing a single day. So I found out about Matt through one of you Matt attackers, Anna. Matt is a top Canadian presenter, model, and actor. And to say his work is absolute fire would be an absolute understatement. So I'm sure you guys could guess I had to reach out and find out some exclusive insight from him for you guys who are entering the fashion and modeling industry. Hope you guys enjoy it. What is one thing that you've learned through modeling that you never expected you would? Really about myself. I never really thought I would say that. I was pretty confident I knew myself when I stepped into this this world but since starting this and since walking this journey I have learned a lot about how I deal with success how I deal with fear anxiety how I deal with crazy people there's been a great deal of personal growth it's been a very fun journey and I got started late in the game I didn't start modeling in my teens like a lot of these people have I actually didn't start till well into my 20s and I didn't really know what to expect when I started modeling people are going to take advantage of you everyone always will so I've learned how to deal with that, how to be confident, how to stand up for myself. When you're shooting for a client, what are the two things you always keep in mind? What is that client's image? And what is it you're actually trying to model for them? Is it something youthful and fun? Is it something serious? Is it fashion? Is it more commercial? Is it more sexy? It's all about what kind of image they're trying to present. It's important to have a lot of communication with whoever the brand director on set is, and also the photographer, because between the three of you, that's how you're gonna create this image, this environment, in order to get what the brand actually wants. So for instance, De Beers, they're gonna want something different than what a guest will. And even guests will want something different than what Armani wants. And even if with, within Armani, they've got their exchange label and they've got their suits. So these are kind of the things that you wanna keep in mind. And the energy that you wanna to bring to set will depend on what exactly you've discussed with probably your agent and whoever the brand manager or the brand representative will be on set. What is one thing that you believe about the fashion industry that 90% of people would disagree with you on? I don't know if there's one thing. I've got a couple things that I don't really like about the fashion industry. First one is anytime you hear somebody say, oh, but you'll get great exposure from this. That's a bunch of fooey. Like it's, it's just not true. It's garbage. For the most part, they're just trying to take advantage of you. Whether it be a photographer, a client, an event coordinator, they are simply trying to get some free labor out of you. And it drives me absolutely absolutely bonkers. I refuse to do that kind of work. I don't think that I'm going to get any more exposure walking in a show that I'm not getting paid for than I would just posting pictures on Instagram, honestly. The other thing actually is fashion shows. I don't like them. I think they're garbage. I think they're a waste of time. You're there all day. At least you get fed. You don't get paid a whole hell of a lot and they're boring. You walk, 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 you turn, you walk back, you get changed and you do it over again. Sometimes they ask you to pose, other times they don't. The ones that really try and get really convoluted, so like you have to walk here, you have to pose, and you you're gonna walk back over here and you have to pose. And you have to walk back over here and you have to pose. Do it all over again. What does it matter? At that point, like for fashion shows, you're a glorified clothing rack. You are. I don't like doing them. Mad Attacker Paul says, does your family have a motto, spoken or unspoken? No, we don't actually have like a motto, but I would think that from both my parents, there's kind of this resounding thought or value that hard work is incredibly valuable. And if you say you're gonna do something, you, you need to do it. Probably be a pair of hard work and commitment. Those are kind of resounding values, but they resounding, resounding, whatever. Those are kind of the values that run through art, but there isn't like a mantra or motto. All of you who pause whatever it was you were doing in your day to watch this, thank you so much. I will catch each and every one of you beautiful mad attackers in the next one. Go hustle, go get, and I'll see you then. Peace. From one mat to the other, stay healthy, stay safe, stay home, go out there and kill it.